Beachcombers cleaned a stretch of our west coast today. They were expecting to find debris, possibly from Japan, swept into the ocean during the tsunami last year. As Czech news reporter Lee Chekstad tells us, though they didn't find as much as they expected, they are getting ready for when that day comes. It's misting with rain and there's a high tide. Despite less than ideal conditions, volunteers comb China Beach, climbing over logs looking for garbage. As I surf these beaches, so might as well help clean them up. It's also good, I think, for other people to see uh, people from their own peer group out there cleaning the beaches and it reminds them to clean up after they've come down to the beach. Amanda Munsell is one of the loyal surf riders, part of a group that shows up every month to an area beach to clean it up. The international organization is dedicated to keeping waterfront clean. Lucas Harris heads up the local chapter. So what starts happening with the styrofoam, it starts breaking down into these small pellets. And it just becomes, it just becomes part of the system. On this day, there are signs the litter has come from international waters, bottles with Asian characters on the lids, as well as the usual styrofoam and other garbage. While no one can confirm this is from the tsunami in Japan, it is something these volunteers are expecting. I don't know where this would come from. We're anticipating like a lot of it coming up onto the beach, and when it does, well, we're, gonna, we're collecting data as well to compare between beaches, which maybe someone else mentioned, but we want to see what happens when it does come over and see which beaches are kind of the worst for it. By using standards set by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, Lucas documents about 100 metres of shoreline and what's found on it. Surfrider plays an integral role in tracking the impacts of the tsunami debris, and right now is the time to get that baseline data of of what we're finding on the beaches so that in the future years as more and more tsunami debris starts hitting our shores we'll be able to reference um, before kind of before it happened Stop, hey? yeah, sort of. once volunteers fill their bags they report back on what they've found since this beach is in a city beach the, there hasn't been so many cigarette butts which we usually find a lot of when the work is complete many can't resist the waves of the ocean Others appreciate the surroundings. Good fun. I've never been to this beach before, so it's been great. Like, I get to explore beaches and, yeah, and meet new people. And they're ready for the next wave of water, of debris, of cleanup.